This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hi everybody, welcome to another Warm Pieces. Well, what are what am I going to look at today? Very simple. At any cost, Mets 1870. A game designed by Herman Lettman. Now, when I got this in the mail, I went, okay, the box feels kind of light. It's a little light for a uh, GMT game. And I went, oh, oh boy, maybe this is just one of those kind of single battle things. And then I opened it up, and there was one, just one sheet, one sheet of counters for the armies, that is, and the other were for chits. And I looked at it, and I went, oh, okay. But boy, was I mistaken. Because when I finally got this to the table and played it, boy, let's just take a look at the components and then I'll tell you what I Now we know how I am about paper maps, but I can honestly tell you that this map here is actually, it's a, it's a thicker, it's a thicker paper map. And I actually didn't mind this because when I got it down on the table, it, it just laid down perfectly. Now, I always like to take these things and I like to laminate them. I'll take them down to an office depot or something and laminate them. But again, once again, a beautiful, an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful map. I'm not going to show you all the chits because they're all punched and everything, but I'm going to show you some of the sequence. The sequence of play charts are absolutely gorgeous and uh, it's just a really, really neat system. I really like how it plays out. The planning phase, then you have your chit draw phase, you go into your activation phases, you know, which is your uh, HQ command step. Um, you're going to go to your fire combat step. You're going to go to your movement step, assault, combat, and then you're going to try to rally your troops up. And then you have a complete uh, end of phase in which you're going to have a certain events pop up, which are just really, really tremendous. And, um, you know, like certain events, you have charts here like for the Prussians and for the French, just absolutely very, very well done. Um, they have a rules of play book, which is just very easy to understand. And it has a solo mode that, that you could play solitary. It's a very high sol solitary game. And you're going to find that it is just very, very well put together. The thing for this game was how well everything flowed. Okay. It wasn't anything out of the order, you know, ordinary of normal war games, but but I, 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 the way this was done, and the the playbook was masterful. The scenarios, the way this was put together, the Twilight of the Guards, very nice play on words there, but just really, really re recapturing some of the battle battles that happened within here, and then of course the designer notes where you really see the designers passion for this particular time period it just flows through on how he explains and 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 talks about the history of this complete campaign and how well this was put together in just an absolute masterpiece <sighs> there's only one thing to do is kind of grab the box and give you my final thoughts now, I didn't give you a ton of rules or anything like that, and I really wanted to show off the beauty of the, of the components of this and not be afraid because, you know, sometimes when you get a light box, you go, okay, this is a very small battle. There's a lot of game in here. There is a lot of game in here and a lot of great game in here, okay? This, this is wonderfully done, wonderfully produced, of course. Who else? GMT. I mean, you, if they ever sent me a bad game, I'd be, I'd be shocked beyond human belief. But I really, really enjoyed this. I think Herman did a fantastic job with this. This is just a great game, and this is a 4 out of 5 for me. I absolutely loved it. The more I played a scenario, I played a couple scenarios, the more I said... I want more. I want more. And I plan on doing some of these live, especially over the summer, now that we have our other table hooked up, where we can actually do a lot more live war games where we can leave them out, uh, you know, and continue a battle. So expect to see a lot of this. Expect to see this game. 
this is tremendous. We gave you a nice brief overview, a nice look at it on this week's War and Pieces. And like I said, a four out of five, I really, really highly recommend you go out and pick out this one. This is just another masterpiece from GMT and a fantastic designer who did a fantastic job. So until next time on War and Pieces, I'm Rob Orn. We'll see you soon.